Oh, joyful day surmounted in a fresh plastique from the land of the rising sun. You would think coming from North America that we have a monopoly on purchasing crap from beyond our shores and filling it directly into the landfill. Nay, I say to you, a ridiculous gadget for working just in time for winter, the air-conditioned jacket. May it be that I'm a little behind the times, but I never could cotton to the notion of why you would need used female underoos in a vending machine. Same idea with this. Why would you want a jacket that's cooled? Is it a Japanese thing? You can't take your jacket off because then you're not officially working. So you'd rather just sweat your onion sack right to a shriveled raisin wearing a coat. I don't get it. But in any case, here it is in glorious 3L. I ought to be able to get it past my melon and around my gut. It ain't going back. It's okay. Nah, it's already dirty. Nice material. I don't like the snaps that are plastic. Y Kai K zipper gotta be. Being from J A Pan, Japanese. Yeah, a famous zipper manufacturer. One of three. They got caught for price fixing, and the European Union had to pay a fine, huge fine, 19 million euros, something like that. I got reduced, of course, after some brinksmanship to three million. But uh, yeah. Who knew? The Worldwide Zipper Cartel. These guys are big guys in the world of zippers. Nice material. I recently learned why a high quality jacket is so expensive, even if it uses the same kind of Gore-Tex materials and so forth. Like why uh, Arc'teryx is so much more expensive than North Face. The Arc'teryx ones has more parts, more panels, so it fits your body better, keeps you warmer but at the cost of additional labor. So there is actually a difference. I didn't figure there'd be any difference. So when I go out in the cold skiing or whatever, I used to have a North Face and uh, I couldn't believe the difference splurging on an Arc'teryx looking like one of them douchebags from North Vancouver, but at least I'm warm. It's actually got more panels in it. Who knew, right? The art and science of uh, stitchery. Here are some holes that allow these back panels to stave puff marshmallow, blow some air up your crack. Look at that, vents. If memory serves, the jacket itself reasonably priced at 800 million yen. Where they get you is these little I can't, I can't do this with a straight face. Fans would go in the backside in order to... <laughs> and then they also get you, you got to buy an adapter kit as well. Look at this. This is fantastic. I mean, look, it's like the last time I saw lady parts. Obscene. I don't read these kind of swig giggles. Pretty sure what I bought was the Astro Boy kit. Look at this. Brushless for her pleasure. It's got a little cock ring on the backside. I assume lefty loosey righty tidy. No, no. Ah! That's oh. And that, I don't. Oh, that goes through there so it doesn't fall out. Wow. They thought of everything. I wonder if you can get a cover. Oh, okay. So this is, this is iteration number two going to be. Don't bother buying this one. What you need is a cover with a replaceable filter, and then it can be a swamp cooler. You wet this up, and it cools you swamp-wise. Huh? And there's an access panel. And how, oh, this has got to go. Wow. Okay. Of course, it's Japanese. You got to do it the right way. There's only one way to do it. 
the right way, even if it's the wrong way. If you, like me, was wondering how it was going to power two fans with just the one dingus end, got a splitter. Uh -huh. They think of everything. Bow chicka bow wow. Ding dong. Somebody called a plumber? Why, yes. <laughs> I have a 16 inch crawl space under my house. I'm not into that kind of movie. Oh, we can even, uh, we can slide that through the proper slot. Huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I see what these are for. Look at that. Look at that. I'm going like, huh, hold on, huh, 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 YKK double ender. You guys, you guys, you're too good to us. My God, they've thought of everything. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I can't wait to flash this up. Feel the cool breeze. You'll forgive me, I can't seem to get the zipper around my gut. Suck it in, suck it in. Oh, actually, not too bad. I can have some more Christmas candies. What you stink? Iggledy or piggledy? Eeny, I mean, I, my daughter was younger and we were in public. She started singing eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I, you can't say that kind of catch a tiger by the toe. Hmm. Hmm. Aha. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Ooh. It's not exactly whisper quiet. Definitely your colleagues on the job site will uh, point their fingers, jeer, and yell, NERD! But what the hell? You don't care. You're in comfy, the embrace of a comfy Japanese mistress. Okay, so this is the level. And this is Turbo Blast. Ooh, downright chilly. Right on your kidneys, too. Right where you need it. So for Nordic Americans, they got a... Ugh, got a little excited there. Mm, not to worry. It's Molly Coat. <laughs> it has to be a little bit roomier for Nordic American uh, how, we, how we dress, you know, left or right. Not getting any air cooling out my neck or my stink pits, nothing like that. They're all strictly kidneys, so... You need to have enough room to where this is not singing tight spandex style and then the air can actually get up through. Who knew that you could get such a thing as ventilated jacket? The mind boggles. I guess if you're out in the searing hot rain on a consistent basis and you need some ventilation, I'd like to see this. It'd be interesting in the summer we get uh, some swamp cooling happening. So we put some filters on there and drip water through that uh, it evaporates and then it cools the airstream in there. It gets you even colder. <laughs> it is such a thing. Who'd have thunk it? Thanks for watching. Brushless, no less. <laughs> Keep your dick in a voice.